Jesus. That's the reason we're here this morning, Lord. We bring our offering to you, Lord Jesus. How great is our God. How great is our God. How great is our God. Come on, church. Just say, how great is our God. He's amazing, God. He's amazing, God. He's beautiful Savior. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Sungguh engkau adalah harta yang tak ternilai bagi kami, Tuhan. Apapun yang kami miliki saat ini, sungguh tidak ada artinya kalau kami tidak memiliki engkau dalam hidup kami, Tuhan. Apalah artinya semua yang kami miliki, Tuhan, tanpa engkau dalam hidup kami. Tanpa anugerah kekal yang kau beri untuk kami Tuhan. Sungguh Tuhan kami menyadari. Kami menerima anugerah hidup kekal itu dengan cuma-cuma. Cuma-cuma Tuhan. Pasikarlah saya, pasikarlah mu. We receive everything from you. Just for free. You was our sin. Just for free Lord Jesus. You never ask even one word from us. You never ask even one thing from us. You just want our heart. You just want our heart. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Di saat engkau mati di kayu salib. Engkau tidak pernah mengatakan Apa yang bisa kami bayar untuk engkau Engkau memberikan semua itu cuma-cuma Agar kami selamat Tuhan Selamat Dan engkau hanya menginginkan sebuah hati Hati yang mengasihimu dengan sungguh Hati yang mengasihimu dengan sungguh Hati yang mempunyai belas kasihan Sebagaimana engkau mempunyai belas kasihan kepada kami Engkau mati di kayu salib Karena engkau mempunyai belas kasihan kepada kami Tuhan Agar kami tidak disalibkan Agar kami tidak masuk ke dalam lubang lumpur dosa lebih dalam lagi Agar kami tidak dibakar dengan api yang sangat panas Tuhan Karena itu engkau merelakan dirimu disalib Karena kasih Karena kasih Just one word God Is love Just because he's love us That's why he's died for us Just one word Just one word Is love Love is everything, everything. Kasih adalah segala galanya Tuhan. Kami tidak mau di sakit tanganmu yang kedua kali. Engkau mengatakan kau tidak mengenal kami Tuhan, karena tidak ada kasih dalam diri kami. Percuma, apapun yang kami kerjakan, apapun yang kami lakukan untuk kemuliaanmu Tuhan, semuanya percuma. Kalau tidak ada kasih itu dalam hati kami. Karena itulah hukum yang pertama Yang harus kami jalani Tuhan Terima kasih Tuhan Terima kasih Kami bersyukur untuk kematianmu di kayu salib Terima kasih Yesus Terima kasih Roh Kudus Come on we sing, we sing one, once again
Selamatanku dan 
Stop. 
you are Lord you create everything Father thank you for this special morning for this special day that we are here gathered together as your children to worship you to praise you to adore you to lift your name up above all name Thank you, Father. And let our worship go up, entering your presence like incense who bring nice aroma to pleasing you. Father, thank you for this morning, for this day. And now the time for us. We will hear your word. You miss it. Speak to us, Lord. We'll open our hearts and let the Holy Spirit take over this building, this environment, this air, and also all of our hearts. And let your your word will fall upon good soil and flourish until 30 times, 60, 100 and times. Thank you, Father. Hide your servant behind your cross. And there is no power that will operate in this, in this hall, in this building, except your spirit. In the name of Jesus, and everyone say, Amen, Amen. Let's give him once again glory to him. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, church. It's great to see you again in this church, the church of the living God. And all young people, please, you stay here. Because I will preach in English. We will continue again about the vision. 
of the church. Okay. So I will continue again from the last Sunday. Ya, saya akan lanjutkan dari minggu yang lalu. As every year we will explain again the vision of the church. This is very important because we should know where the church will go. We are in one ship, we are in one boat. We sail together to the destination that is the new Jerusalem. I will not explain a lot, you know, but to those who last Sunday were not here, at least you know this uh, first. Where there is no vision, the people perish, but he that keeps the law, happy is he. Where there is no prophetic vision, the people, you know, case of restraint, Bila tidak ada wahyu, rakyat menjadi liar. Berbagailah orang yang berpegang pada hukum. We are here, we are the people of God who always keep the law of God. Amen? So, again, what is vision? Because we heard about vision, 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 but what is vision? Yeah, last last Sunday, I have explained about this this vision, but this again, I think it's better if we look again. Yeah. Firstly, vision, because what I'm talking about vision, this is the vision of God. Yeah, yang saya bicarakan vision adalah vision dari Tuhan, yeah, vision of God. So vision of God is revelation to what God wants the future of the church. So that means what I'm talking about is the, the vision of the church. So the vision is God is revelation to what God wants the future of the church. This is. So God wants what is the future of the church? Of this church. So secondly, vision is like a picture. Like a photograph. For the future of the church, it provides the church shape and direction. It defines what the church will become. So, vision will show us. Our vision will show us what we will become. Yeah. So again, I will not explain too long, you know, because last Sunday I have explained about that. But it's very clear. Vision is like a picture, like a photograph for the future of this church. It provides the church ship yeah, and direction. It defines what the church will become. So second generation, young people, please grab it. Because you are, you will continue this church. Not just only second generation, I think all of us. Amen. Okay, certainly, vision will produce and ignite passion. It will fuel and energize leaders and followers. Ya, dengan visi ini akan memberikan seperti bensin gitu ya, energi kepada leader dan followers. A clear vision will sustain effort even in tough times and maintain people motivated year after year. A vision always motivate, motivate us as leader and as followers. Because we know with, with, with vision, we know where we go. We know where, who we are. So vision is the most important thing that we can do for the future of the church. It's quite clear. So vision is the most important thing that we can do for the future of the church. Perhaps, probably, we can have the best policies in the world, but without vision, we may not have 
any point. It's nothing. So vision will direct us, will lead us, with vision will guide us where we go. Ya, dengan visi kita tahu kita kemana akan pergi, dengan visi kita tahu kemana, apa tujuan kita, dan apa bentuk model kita. So without a vision, we don't know where we will go. Without vision, we can focus. We can reach our goals and can follow our dreams. So it is very, very important. Vision is very important. So we know where we go. So without vision, we can focus and we can reach our goal. Again, without vision, we can develop the right strategies and tactics. We can extend draft what policies we will require. We need a clear vision, otherwise we will easily get lost and lose sight of the way forward. Yeah, tanpa visi kita mudah sekali akan hilang dan kehilangan arah tujuan kita. When a vision clearly communicates to everyone what the church is about. So this vision, the MC vision, the vision from God, church vision, will clearly will communicate to every one of us what we are, what the church is about, what we are. It increased ownership, it increased self-belonging, that we are, we have sense of self-belonging because of vision. It inspires, vision provides focus, what the church is and what it isn't. Amen? So, I will not explain longer, ya, karena minggu kemarin sudah saya jelaskan. So, vision. Our vision is easy, you know, just only four letters, M-O-V-E, move. Easy to remember. So the, I abbreviate to just on the M-O-V-E, move. Very easy. Simple, move. What is that? Young people, do you still remember? What is the first vision? M. Come on, young people. What is our first vision from M? Make disciple of all nation. How about O? Open the ways, spread out the gospel, release the captive, and then heal the sick, cast out the demon, and then demonstrate the power of God, and then help the needy. How about fee? Various gifts and talent should be released and maximized for the glory of the kingdom of God. Ya, jadi kita lihat FVC from the beginning, you know, make disciple of nation. Kita buat pemuritan kepada bangsa-bangsa, not just only Indonesian, no, but to all nation. I explained last Sunday when the biblical word say about nation or the original language, etne, etne, that means youths. So make disciple of all etne, youths. I explained last Sunday, just on the, the tribe of aborigines, aborigine people, that more than 920 etne, just on the aborigine. How about us, Indonesian? How about us, Australian? How about the people who living in this country? More than 160 countries came from all over the world with how many thousand nations at me? That is the biblical word about make disciple of our nation. It's huge, it's wide. And then E, ensure that the Lord Jesus Christ is the center of our movement. So from our vision, if you look carefully, nothing that we will gain anything, nothing. Because everything just only for him who redeem us, who save us, 
who restore us as a new creation in Christ Jesus. Amen. Dia semuanya hanya bagi dia tidak ada kita enggak akan gain anything. Kita enggak akan mengambil keuntungan apa apa dari visi ini. Yeah, but if, if you see again deeply about this vision, this is what God gave it personally to me 22 years ago. It's so hitting my heart. Even at the time I didn't understand. I didn't know what is that. Just only that what just came up. Until a few years later, so one by one, you know, I think all of us who together planted the, this church 22 years ago, we know that how that is happening already. Make disciple of all nations, say about open the wish about spread the gospel yeah. menjadi saksi become witness his witnesses spreading the gospel sharing the word of God dan musir setan menyembuhkan orang sakit demonstrasikan kuasa Tuhan and help the needy that is happen already And God, as His vision, straight away gave it to us, to every one of us. That is our vision. That we will move with this vision. As the church of God, as the people belonging to God, as the member of the body of Christ, as Christ is the head, Yeah, Yesus adalah kepala. So we move with what the direction of the vision, the vision that the Holy Spirit gave to us. Jadi kita bergerak dengan sesuai dengan tuntunan Roh Kudus yang memberikan kepada kita wisdom, ya yeah, hikmat, tentunya. So we can standing up in the basis of that vision. So how to do it? Tentu pertanyaannya, surely certainly the question is how to do it? As I mentioned probably last Sunday, we can do. We can save people. But saving people is the work of the Holy Spirit through us. Jadi menyelamatkan orang kita enggak bisa. No. That is The work of the Holy Spirit. Menyelamatkan orang adalah pekerjaan roh, uh, pekerjaan roh kudus. Apostle Paul says, I became a servant of the gospel by the gift, by the gift of God's grace. Take this word. I became a servant of the gospel by the gift of God's grace given me through The working of His power, because His power, because of His grace. So, this is the basis of our movement. Because the grace of God has been given to us through His power, the Holy Spirit power that is work in us, and the transition that is working in us right now dari Injil itu aku telah menjadi pelayannya menurut pemberian kasih karunia Allah yang dianugerahkan kepadaku sesuai dengan pengerjaan kuasanya it's very clear sangat-sangat jelas so that we are established this church has planted because of this And this is surely, you know, strongly spoke to me personally. I became a servant of the of this gospel by the gift of God's grace given me through the working of His power. So this is not just only me, but it's all of us, 
all of us. Amen. So that's why many, many times I say, how big your faith, that big also God will reveal to you. Sebab besar iman kita, sebesar itu Tuhan akan nyatakan pada kita. Vision 3.20 God is able to do for more than we could ever ask for or imagine. He does everything by His power. That is why working in us. Again, you know, God is able to do for more than we could ever and we could ask for or imagine. He does everything by His power that is working in you. That is clear. And this is true. When you believe about this first that will be that will happen in you when apostle paul write this letter because you know at the time if you look on the Ephesians 6 about the war with the evil forces with the dark spirit that is the Ephesians. so that's why you know but we we have the power. That power is working in us. That is the power of the Holy Spirit that Jesus has been given to us to continue His mission in this world. It's powerful. It's really powerful. Uh, Philippians four thirteen. I can do everything through Him who gives me strength. You know that all, all, all these verses. It's already, you know, what is it? Like, stay deeply in my heart, in my deepest heart. And I'm, I'm convinced, I am, like I believe, not generally 100%, but 1000% maybe, about God is what. So I can do everything, but through him, who gave me, Strength. Indonesian translation. Segala perkara dapat ku tanggung dalam Dia yang memberi kekuatan kepada aku. But actually, I become the subject in all translation. So I can do everything. I can do everything, but not by my strength, not by people's strength, but by the Spirit of God. This is, we will walk with the vision of the church, with the Holy Spirit will accompany us, will direct us, will lead us. This is the vision. The basis what? The basis again, you know, because Christ has died for us. Redeem us, save us, and then justify us and then sanctify us and then to make us a new creation in Christ Jesus so we are different with the worldly people we are the extraordinary people of God not because we are good but because of the work of the Holy Spirit through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Dasyat. So, never look to yourself. If you look to yourself, oh, I am weak. I am no hope. I am lost. I don't have any power. Probably sometime we think like that. But, again, that is, yeah, probably, we were before, before in Christ like that. But now, we are different. 
Ya, mungkin dulu sebelum dalam Tuhan ya. Tapi setelah dalam Tuhan, kita harus mengimani. We should have faith in Him. Sebab dengan iman itulah, kita akan dapat melakukan segala hal. Apa yang menjadi rencana Tuhan. What is God is plan and purpose, we will do it. Because of the Holy Spirit who are working in us. At the translation, the Holy Spirit working in us strongly, greatly. We should believe that, that our life is not us anymore, but Christ is in us. Amen? Because if Christ is in us, so we are not, not us anymore, but Christ in the front of us. Okay, come back to vision. Make disciple of all nation. The first vision M. This is I already explained last last week. With well, the basis, the first vision. This is the basis versus why make disciple of all nation is as the first vision, because Jesus. This is the great commandment from our Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus came also for for this. So. Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to Jesus. And then Jesus gave mandat, gave command. Therefore, you go and make disciple of all nation. This is our first vision. This is a commandment from our Lord Jesus Christ. Our first vision. So make disciple and then baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. So. Baptism is the second step after we receive our Lord Jesus Christ. So on the, because here talking about baptism, on the 13th of October, I will baptize two people from our congregation. So if you don't baptize yet, and if you want to join, so on the 13th of October, we will make uh, Imus baptism, probably in the beach around here. At the time, I just landed from Darwin because I will in Darwin for Australia pastorated, leading Australia pastorated. And when I arrive in the morning, straightway we go to the water baptism. So. If any of you probably not baptizing yet, so let me know and we will do it together. Also in the 7 November, I will baptize one from Sri Lanka in Jakarta. That is the new, new soul for the kingdom of God. After sharing the word around six weeks maybe, every, every week I give teaching about the word of God and then he received Christ as his savior and he will come to Jakarta and got married with one Indonesian and I will bless their merit on the wedding day on the 7th of November in Jakarta <coughs> let's pray for that Okay, move on. Verse 20. And teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the earth. I am with you always. Do you believe that? I am with you always. Jesus says, I am with you always. All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. And all authority that I ask. I give to you 
and I will be with you until the end of the end. That is a guarantee. This is the first vision. So the command of Jesus, our first vision. Again, the basis of that vision. Look, you did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last. Then the Father will give you whatever you ask in my name. So in other words, if we follow his instruction and if we cast that word, Jesus says, you did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you to go. So, actually we are, you know, we have mandate, we have, we have common from our Lord to go. I will be with you. I choose you. Not you choose me, but I choose you. You did not choose me, but I choose you and appointed you. Appointed you. Jadi, kamu tidak milih aku, tapi akulah yang milih kamu dan menetapkanmu. Aku yang menetapkan kamu supaya kamu pergi. When we go, and then whatever you ask, see, this is the key. Whatever you ask in my name, I will do it. So when we are become his follower as obedient people, whatever we ask, rain stop, stop. Rain come, come. Saya rasa Dodi ikut ke NTT waktu itu. When how we stop the rain, and how we pray for the rain come and rain come. So all authority will be under your instruction, under your command. That is vision. And we walk in the vision that God gave to us. And when we believe that, and this is the command of Jesus, because Jesus won the church demonstrate his power. Not just only the world, you know, demonstrating the power. The witchcraft, you are dukun dukun, magic, black magic. No, no, no. How about the church? All the center of the power of God actually in the church. Speaking of the church, not this building, not this denomination, but it's you and I. Amen? That is the church, you and I. We are the church of God. This is powerful, man. I can feel the spirit of God is here. I can feel the power is here right now. This is the word of God. You know, when the word of God, you know, proclaim the power following. Oh, shit. Setan apa? What kind of devil? Kalau ada di sini aja bawa ya. It's nothing, you know. It's nothing for us. This is to make for us not narrow-minded, but open-minded to the command of God. He says, "It is too small a thing that you should be my servant." To raise up just only the tribe of Jacob and to restore the priests of ones of Israel. Ini yang penting. I will also make you a light of the ethne, ethne nations again. Bagi kita jadi terang bagi ethnic atau nation, bangsa-bangsa, suku-suku bangsa, so that my salvation merit to the end of the earth. So who will go? You and I. Part of the movement of the God Spirit moves through 
his people. Hallelujah. Amen. It's too heavy for me. Terlalu berat ini um bagi saya. Yes. And we look to ourselves, yes, too hard, too heavy. But it's not. And we depend on him. So that is the first, you know, to support the first vision. Make disciple of our nation with supporting the process that I just show you. So from just, just, you know, stop for a while from this first vision, we know that this is the will of God, not the will of man. Oh, my will, no. I don't improve anything here. Everything just the word of God. Everything just the command of God. Everything just the instruction of God to his people. That is you and I. We move to second vision because the time is running fast. Oh, from the word move. Open the ways, spread the gospel. Share the gospel. Share the good news. Release the captive. Bebaskan yang terikat. Heal the sick. Sembuhkan yang sakit. Cast out the demon. Drive out the demon. Usirlah setan-setan. Kuasa sudah diberikan kepada kamu. The power is already in you. And demonstrate the power of God. Finally, help the needy. So this is the heart of God. Not the heart of human being. The heart of God. Jesus came. Always releasing the captive. Yesus datang selalu melepaskan yang terikat. You look on the, the gospel. The book of the gospel. Matthew, Mark, John, Luke. All demonstration of the Holy Spirit power through Lord Jesus Christ. And that power, that instruction has been given to the church now. Okay. Again, as you go preach this message, the kingdom of heaven is near. The kingdom is near. The time is near. Not be long. Jesus will come again. So be careful in this life. The message, the kingdom of God is near. It's very soon. But we don't know when. But it's very soon. Therefore, for us who have our salvation, we should share because this salvation is the good news. And we share this good news. Speaking good news is the gospel. Speaking, speaking gospel, the original word, Angulion. The name of this is Angulion. Angulion is the good news of victory, the victory of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. So, our duty now to bring the gospel to share the gospel and also releasing the captive. And if you believe, if you trust in him, that you are just only his witnesses, the Holy Spirit will work through you. Because this is the mandate of our Lord. Ini adalah mandat dari Tuhan dan kita tinggal mengikuti saja. Yang bekerja bukan kita, tapi roh kudus. So the kingdom of heaven is near. Look, again. This is invitation or instruction. See, so from Matthew 10, 7 and 10, 8. This is invitation or instruction or command. 
This is instruction. This is command. Sembuhkanlah. Heal the sick. Raise the dead. Cleanse those who have leprosy. Drive out demons. Freely you have received. Freely give. Speaking of leprosy. Do you know leprosy? Lepra? Atau kusta? So if someone got leprosy, he should be separate. They can't live together with us. They keep separated and far away from the people. Dia di, apa itu? Asingkan. And then, when I remember when I was small, the one area far near the bottom of the hill, that is like the village of the people who got leprosy. And then sometimes they came down, you know, to the market to buy something, some food to eat. And then they always, you know, close everything. And he, as he or she says, lepra, lepra, lepra. And people straight away you know, move out. Here, yeah, cleanse those who have leprosy. What that mean? That mean if people may be living, you know, under the rejection of the community, it can be, it can be some people like that, you know, sometimes people, you know, have rejected from their own family or their own community. And then our duty also to restore them back. And also to heal if someone got real leprosy. Healing is the work of the Holy Spirit. Remember that. Not our work. Our duty just only declaring that the power is with me, is with you. Who drive the sickness, the disease? We can drive. But the spirit who is working in us, that is. The spirit that, uh, that bigger than any other spirit, that greater than any other spirit, that is in you. That spirit will cast out, will drive out the demon. Come on, man. Saya kalau sudah ngomong spirit, saya kereketan sekali sana. Yes. Because I know who we are. I know who our identity in Christ. You are the extraordinary men and women of God. The death of Jesus to make you whole. When the scripture says whole, that means the restoration whole. Because people look like Adam and Eve, the first creation. They got mandate, power, and authority. And sin made everything gone from them. But Jesus came to restore that until we got whole, sempurna. That means mandate, authority, and power back again to the believers, to the church, you and I. Amen? This is important. Otherwise, how we do this first? Because this is, is instruction. This is common. It's common from God to us. Mark 16, 17, Jesus says, 
Oh, and these signs will accompany those who believe. Accompany those who believe. Come on, believe. Who have peace this in the original translation. Who have faith, faith that hundred percent in Him. That is belief. That is peace this in my name. They will what? Come on together. They will what? Drive out demons. Who are they? You. This is vision. And we're practicing already. How many demons that we already driven out from the bondage people? They will speak in new tongues. This is Jesus. They will pick up snakes with their hands and when they drink deadly poison, it will not hurt them at all. They will place their hand on sick people and they will get well. That is power, authority and mandate has been given to the church. This is vision. This is our vision. So therefore, when, when I received that vision 22 years ago, I didn't understand. Until happening in my ministry. Wherever I go, this is following. I think not just only on me, but it's only to all of you. Amen? Look. From Luke 10, 19. Jesus says, I've given you what? Authority to what? To trample on snakes and scorpion and to overcome all the power of the enemy. Nothing will harm you. Nothing will harm you. I give you. See? Authority. Power. Mandate. Right, Nathan? Nathan Blackbell, you know what to trample the enemy. Right? Davy also. But we not hitting the same human evil spirit the devil that is I've given you authority to trample on snake and scorpion to overcome all the power see dalam terjemahan bahasa Indonesia menahan dalam terjemahan bahasa Indonesia overcome mengalahkan I give you the authority to overcome untuk mengalahkan. Do you believe that? This is vision. This is God's vision for us. So to make us, you know, to stand from before Him and to receive that mandate and authority. So if anyone of your friend or your family under the bondage of the evil spirit your duty now to trample them amen your duty to kick them because the spirit who is in you greater than any other spirit who is in this world roh yang ada dalammu lebih besar dari segala roh yang ada dalam dunia amen Boy, man, 45 minutes already has been. I think I should stop here. This is just the first vision and the second vision. So I will continue again. I don't know, maybe next week, maybe we have some guest speaker. I'm not sure, but look like, you know. 
So that is just what I share the first vision and the second vision from MOVE, M O V E, make disciple of all nations. Oh, open the ways, spread the gospel, release the captive, cast out the demon, heal the sick, demonstrate the power of God, and help the needy. And then V and E later on. V, what is it, V? Various gifts and talents should be released and maximized for the glory of the kingdom of God. And E, ensure, make sure that all of our movement just only for the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. That is our vision. Nothing that we gain anything. Nothing. Everything just only for His glory, for His name. Musician and singer, please come up. I think we will sing Tuhan ku menyenangkanmu Lord I delighted your name